What's good guys, Team Malevolent here with another deck profile from YCS Las Vegas and we got Samuel Craig here and what did you do? Uh, well, with the help of two of my friends on the team, we, we took down a side of it. <laughs> Alright. We took wow. down the 3v3 for the um, uncut sheet. Alright, and those are uh, all super rares with a jackal boolin and all that cool stuff? Yeah, yeah. super cool. Alright, and what did you play? I played Spiral. Alright. Let's get into it. All right, so starting, we got three soul, um, best card in the deck, mm -hmm. all gas. Um, I decided to play three Droll and Lockbird. Um, reason being, I expected Spiral to be like the most popular deck. Um, and this card obviously is just really good in that matchup. I wanted to see it as much as possible. Um, and I didn't want to play any other hand traps other than this one. Mm -hmm. um, except for the one DD Crow, my bad. Um, because you search it off the rank one. And then I played three Super Agent. Um, three, that's I, interesting. I, I built this deck to play around Droll as much as possible, and this is just an extender that you can play that helps you get there without getting Droll and Lockbirded. Um, and he's just like really good against like some of the back row decks. Like he's really good against Alter Guys, he's really good against Sub Terror. Um, so that's why I decided to play three of him. All right. um, one tough because we can't win every dice roll. Yeah. Uh, two Master Plan. Um, two instead of one because you have to resolve. Uh, so, Magician Soul, mm -hmm. uh, one Quick Fix, one Drone, one Last Resort, one Sleeper. Um, not much else to say there. Um, I did play the Scrap Package. Uh, How did that work out for you? Um, it was pretty good. Um, this sucks to draw. Um, I messed with this and I messed with Jet Synchron. And I still am not really sure which one I decided was better. Um, this one's nice because you don't lose as many cards. Like if you're going for the scrap combo, you're automatically, and you're going first, you're always losing like a card because you're doing scrap combo, right? And you have to pop a card. Um, and so when you're playing Jet with it, it's nice because Jet discards and sometimes that's what you need to get there, but it sucks sometimes because like, just frankly, there's some cards that you don't want to destroy with it. Or I'm sorry, discard. Um, and so that's why I decided this might be a little bit better, but I'm still kind of messing with it and deciding which I like more. Um, but again, this is like extenders that don't get drolled. Um, and it's really nice because if your hand is like super duper good, then you can use this to help you make Appaloosa. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, this pretty much always makes Appaloosa for the most part. How many uh, times did you draw a golem? A lot. <laughs> um, spiral hands happen sometimes. Yeah. It's okay. One time I did draw it against Shadal's and it helped me beat Winda. So that's pretty cool, I guess. All right. Um, and he's not the worst to draw either, because like you can like go through combo and like discard him or like discard him off one for one and still summon him back with Wyvern. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like the worst card. Um, three Call by the Grave, because you don't want to get yeah. hand trapped. Uh, three Foolish Goods, kind of mm -hmm. the same reason I want to play three Super Agent. This is an extender that does not get uh, drolled. Uh, two Big Red. Um, one one is good but like if you draw like only the one then it kind of sucks you run out of stuff to search um and this like kind of lets you have a follow-up in case your board gets broken yeah. um and it is nice to draw sometimes like if you draw this plus souls you're still playing the game uh reborn it's just generically yeah. good foolish um solid card in the deck again doesn't get drolled um I played Resort, and then I actually was not playing Terraforming when uh, I played in the main event. I did opt to play it because I switched my side deck around a little, and I'm playing uh, another field spell, so I kind of wanted to play ter uh, try Terraforming. Mm -hmm. um, this card, uh, I did have get drooled, and I did die, so I don't think I will play this anymore. <laughs> Um, one for one, um, and Assault, mm -hmm. um, you gotta play these cards. Card. One for one is combo by itself. Um, and then three Rescue, one Utility Wire. A lot of okay. people don't like this, but I really like it because it lets you have an Optimistic Mind, uh, uh, game one. Um, and it, like, if you draw one of the Spiral Gear cards, then this gives you something else to search that's, like, proactive. Yeah. Right, and how much is that on the main deck? Exactly, 40. 40 um, okay. Just needs to be as consistent as possible. Alright. Um, and then in the extra deck, I play the uh, Apo, Oral Sword, uh, Bora Load. I think moving forward, I would probably cut this um, for something else. I'm not quite sure what yet, but this didn't really come up as much as I thought it would. Was the idea just to take sleepers in the mirror? It, the idea was like, your deck can't out Avermax and it can't out like, for example, like a Boral Load itself made with IP or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, but I never made it. There was never a time where that really happened to me. Um, so I don't think it's worth playing personally. Okay. Uh, Griffin, because 
a lot of combos. You make this card, uh, Unicorn, just generic good stuff. Two Helix. Um, I thought about playing the third, but um, it doesn't ever really come up. In fact, the second one hardly comes up, but you still have to play two. Uh, Phoenix for the combo. B-Borg is a god card. Um, scrap Wyvern for the scrap combo. I'm pretty sure everyone's already said this a hundred times. This can pop opponent's cards. Super important. Uh, curious. Kind of hate this card. I can't tell you how many times this weekend I milled Resort and it just like <laughs> stopped my combo. Yeah, that's awful. Um, like I, I lost two two games because I milled Resort off of this card, but you still have to play it. Yeah. Um, and it can mill spells and traps. Um, mm -hmm. So like if you mill in like, or if you play a like really important side deck card, like let's just play, let's say you're playing against like Pendulum and you side an anti-spell, send anti-spell, get it back with Griffin, all gas, uh, try gate for the combo. Mm -hmm. Um, Link Karibo, really good, um, lets you put Quick Fix in the Grave sometimes, and it's also a Dark for Curious, uh, Dark Cybers. Um, the Lear Lust guy, um, switches DD Crow, says Detach, um, and it gives Appaloosa attack, so it makes it harder to beat over. Okay. And, uh, Dolahan, um, card also says Detach, and it's got, like, a pretty, pretty good effect for the most part. Like, you can, you can make this, um with your board and protect your Appaloosa or protect like whatever else because it's a quick effect where you can uh, cut guys in half. Um, and it's Dark for Curious, I think I already said that. Um, side deck, I played three Dark Ruler No More. It's probably the card I saw the least over the weekend, but like you still probably have to play it. Um, I decided in the side event to play Mystic Mine. Um, I didn't side it in, but like the idea behind it is really good. And there were some uh, other players on the team who did play Mystic Mine in their combo decks, and it worked out really well for them. Um, shout out to Geo. Uh, two Twin, shout out to DZ. Uh, <laughs> this card is insane. Um, I think this card is actually better than Lightning Storm because... Um, I, I think it is better than Lightning Storm because this is a quick play spell, and everybody and their mom is citing anti-spell right now. Okay. Um, two Pointer of the Red Lotus and two Anti-Spells. I want to talk about these two together because they're like what you always side in going first no matter what you're doing for the most part. Um, there's not a matchup where you don't do that. Um, mostly because, well this is like a really good card on its own and this just hits like all the side deck cards or like the really dumb cards, right? So like this hits the Dark Ruler, this hits the Evenly if you can't negate it. Um, and I wanted to side... I, I played three of this at first, and I decided I was drawing it too much, um, and it was just kind of breaking my hand. So during day uh, day two, where I played side event, um, I decided to switch to two of this, um, because it's okay to draw, but you don't want to draw it all the time. Um, you mostly want to set it off Griffin. But if you draw both of these, then you, you pretty much win in game two, which is sick. Um, three evenly, same thing as Dark Ruler, sided in the same kind of matchups. And one pank, um, because I... Um, I wasn't playing this at first, this is what the third pointer was, and then I switched it for this because um, there were a lot of Altergeist, um, and this card actually put in work. Um, I just don't know if I would play it again, I just really needed a third, or another card to side. Alright, and uh, any closing thoughts? Um, yeah, this deck is really powerful, probably still the best deck of the format. Um, some people are saying Rockets are the best deck, or like whatever else is the best deck, but I think this deck is like just way too like powerful, and the boards it spits out like through so many hand traps are still really good. And like you can like mess around with it in a way like where if you know what you're going into then your deck always beats the field mm -hmm. like i saw um on stream at for the event somebody there were some people who were playing a uh, boral savage dragon in their combo because it um you don't get super polyed into the um what's the word uh the world chalice fusion yeah. card which is sick um instead of making like a trigate board they just made that so like mm -hmm. i think you can like build this deck so many different ways to play around so many different things and that's mm -hmm. why i think this deck's way better than pretty much any other deck in the field right now okay well thank you for showing your deck profile and congrats on getting that uncut sheet all right and uh malevolent signing out <laughs>